Right now in early 2020, recent events have forced many of us to stay indoors. If anyone else is like me, I've started wanderlusting over scenic places to go visit in the future. In this video, I'd like to showcase three places out in the Rocky Mountain region of the U.S. that I've been able to visit a few times in the last few years. Hopefully I can stoke that inner fire some of us have to explore once we get the opportunity to again. We're going to pretend we're starting in Denver, Colorado, or somewhere just on the edge of the Front Range. From here, let's go check out Rocky Mountain National Park. Located 90 to 100 miles northwest of Denver lies Rocky Mountain National Park. It is easily accessible via the Denver International Airport, and if you've been to the park before, you'll notice that thousands of other people have also realized just how accessible it is. Most people will access Rocky Mountain National Park from the east side because of how much the resort town of Estes Park has grown and how easy it is to base yourself out of this town. Plenty of things to do in Estes Park alone, but let's talk about the National Park. From Estes Park, I recommend driving up Colorado Highway 36 into the east side of the park, then cutting off onto 34, which is called Trail Ridge Road. This road just about literally summits the park as it takes you from the east side all the way to the west side. You'll climb over 12,000 feet elevation on this road, providing absolutely amazing views of various mountain peaks, some over 14,000 feet of elevation, which are colloquially referred to as 14ers to residents of the Rocky Mountain region. Drive the entire Trail Ridge Road if you can, because the biodiversity along the road is pretty impressive. As you ascend and descend, Various elevations will enter different climates which will influence the flora and fauna of the area. Keep in mind these mountain pass roads do get closed from about October to May or somewhere around that time frame due to deep snowpack in the winter, so this road is a warm weather activity. If it's not summer, you can still enjoy the park just in different regions. Rocky Mountain National Park is littered with beautiful alpine lakes, which happen to be one of my favorite aspects of hiking in the mountains in general. Waters of these lakes are usually crystal clear and extremely cold, but these alpine lakes make for great pictures and a peaceful place to stop by and unwind from the daily stress. Hiking options in Rocky Mountain National Park are endless. I'm no expert, but I have done one hike that I really enjoy, which I'll make an entire video on in the future. It's called Dream Lake, which is one of the most common viewpoints you'll see from Rocky Mountain National Park on social media. The trail is only about two and a half miles round trip and is accessible year round, so it does tend to be pretty popular. I think it's still worth it though, as views right on the shoreline of Dream Lake are unforgettable. From Rocky Mountain National Park, let's head a few hours southwest into western Colorado, stopping into the town of Crested Butte. Everything around Crested Butte is absolutely stunning. On one side you have the Gunnison National Forest, to the north just a bit is the Maroon Bells Snowmass Wilderness, and to the west you have Kebler Pass, which by itself will blow you away. From deep canyons to jagged mountain peaks to some of the largest aspen tree forests anywhere in the country, this region of Colorado is one of my favorites and will truly leave you speechless. A hike I did during the fall a few years back is right off of Kebler Pass from Horse Ranch Park. I believe they referred to it as Dark Canyon. Not really sure why other than the pure irony once you see the views from this trail. It loops through an aspen grove and has rocky viewpoints that overlook Kebler Pass and the rest of the aspens littering the canyon. It's just a sight to behold really. Let's head further west now and show some love to my favorite region out west, Canyon Country. We're changing the scenery just a bit here. This time we'll check out Arches National Park and Canyonlands National Park, but in future videos I'd like to explore the entire state of Utah in much further depth. Arches National Park is the smaller of the two and a tad easier to get around than Canyonlands. So in this video, I'll go ahead and just share my two favorite hikes from Arches. First, Delicate Arch Trail is the iconic and super popular trail that's plastered all over social media. The trail climbs up to a large, smooth sandstone bowl area that has the Delicate Arch at the end. 
you'll find people lining up to take photos under the arch, but with the help of Photoshop here, you won't see them in this picture. I also really like the landscape arch trail. I did this trail in the winter when it was a sheet of ice, so we brought traction devices with us and pretty much had the views of the arch all to ourselves. This trail is actually mostly flat from what I remember, so if you come when it's not wet or icy, it should be fairly easy. I believe Landscape Arch is also the longest arch in the park. Someday I suspect that narrow piece in the middle of the arch may finally break, so hurry and check it out before then. Reflecting back on past hiking trips is a really fun thing to do. What I've discussed here is just the smallest slice of canyon country in the Rocky Mountains. And to be fair, pictures and videos still don't do any of these places justice. When we all have the chance to explore again, hopefully you have a few more ideas for your next trip. To anyone out there who has hiked in any of these places before, comment down below and let me know what your favorite experience was. Also, let me know where I should check out in the future because I'm always looking for new ideas. If you would like to see more hiking guides from around the country, please subscribe to our channel. Here at The Scenic Life, we're working on much longer and more in-depth guides for a few other national parks, and we can't wait to share them when they're complete. Until then, be safe out there, and maybe someday we'll see you out on the trail.